Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the Visual Studio Code for Verilog coding. Okay, Visual Studio Code is a very beautiful and powerful tools, and it it looks like this. So um, how we use it for the Verilog coding? And uh, the first thing we need to install the extension install uh, Verilog okay so you will find uh, uh, some extension here so we install this one uh, once you install you can reload it and uh, and it will be here you can do some setting about the about the uh, extension so preference and shirting so it is here so common use where log this where log you can setting uh, there is a few setting you can set it and this you can set is like uh, for example here you can set is i where rock okay it will be here once you once you uh set it you save it uh, save it save and uh, then um you can um let's create one where files so uh, create a text here, and then let's uh, say this is test v. Okay. Yes, and uh, we open it. Open files. It's um, D folder. Um, test test okay so um let's try something uh, if you click here click it click the extension you will see some uh, introduction here so we can try the modules always and something like this and also there is a introduction about the pyramid the possible value, how you set it. Okay, so we can try the modules, for example, module. So, uh, you, it will pop up some something like this. If directly click it, it will finish it for you, finish the structure of the very log. Okay, uh, we can try something more, for example, it's four. So, this is four. And if this is for if and if else, so this is uh, you can you can look at this is if begin and this is if else and also while you can try while and also uh, function this is function for function and uh, uh, you type a few words it will pop up some tips for you to finish the whole structure and also there is some colors for it so it's very um, beautiful and save some uh, typing speed up the coding okay so this is uh, um, for one file where log files and if you want to link it into the link it into your uh vivado code vivado tools how we do it so we can click here this is tools and click setting and click the text edit the current edit will be vivado text edit okay this is before one we can set it 
like this custom custom edit okay you choose this then click this button so it will pop up here show something like this the so first things um, we can we can remove it the so first things you will see here so this kind of example uh, tell tell us how to use other edit to uh, uh, to edit the files for our um, code for our uh, Visual Studio code we can use this format to input it so this is your code pass so where you install your Visual Studio code okay so this is the file name we can just copy it copy it and then put it pass into it okay so this is uh, um this is a uh, visual studio code and this is the file name we put okay and apply and okay 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 so uh you can click the project files in your uh, Vivados. So click it, double click it. So it will pop up all the files. So this is, we remove this one. This is our first test one. Don't save. Okay, so this is a file in our project, in our um, Vivado projects. So every time you want to um, edit the files, you just double click it. It will pop up. Okay. Um, so let's do some do a few changes. For example, and let's do uh, edit always and um, always here. So you will see it's very easy to uh, edit a whole block here, and you also will see here when you. You noticed here, please notice here, if I type something, um, let's say hello, and save it. Once you save it, it will update it, and, it, and it will, the Vivado will automatically to analyze the files and uh, find some errors. So here, there is one error here, uh, tell the information. So this is an error. Okay, um, at this time you will find, so uh, the error will be uh, here, near here, because we added hello here. And if we, we, uh, we close this file, and then we click here, uh, the original default edit, it will go uh, directly this line but if oh, let's click it double click it okay so you will see here if you double click here it still open it still just open the file and it will not it will not locate this uh, this line this particular line so how we do it, how we change it, it can uh, automatically locate this position. Uh, okay, so you will take a look. Let's take a look here. This is a terminal. And because you click here, basically call the command line of the tool to go over there. So let's uh, take a look whether we have a command line command to go the line directly okay so we can do the code help uh, we take a look at the help so you will see here so this option 
so open a file at the path on the specified line and the character position. We no need a character. We only need to uh, deny here. Here, okay. So uh, how we do it? So we do the things like this. So previous the command like this, and we change a little bit. This and this according the according the option here. Okay. So uh, we just uh, copy all of it. Okay. And uh, we go to the reward. Go to the tools and go to the setting and click here and uh, we change a little bit big okay remove it and we paste it so this will be slash g and this is the lie number and this is the file name so when we click the error here it will call the code execute file to open the file name to open the file and open and locate the line numbers oh, this will be very uh, convenient okay so okay and then okay okay save it and uh, let's double click it let's click it so you 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 will see here it uh, automatically locate this line 46 and this is 46 let's change a little bit and see whether it works or not okay um i will change here and let's put a four whatever okay and uh, we save it we save it. You will see here is updating. So it means the Vivado detected the uh, file has changed. And uh, let's take a look. So this uh, the error position has been changed. Let's um, let's close it. Close the Visual Studio code. Click, and it will pop up. So you will see here it it blink the cursor is blink at this at this line exactly the error position. So it's very convenient for us debug and uh, uh, for us coding. And the um, the Visual Studio code is a very powerful, simple, and uh, uh, useful tools. Uh, in, in the future uh, video lessons for the viral coding. We will use this way to code all the code. And I hope you like it. And okay, that's it. And this is Michael. Um, see you next time. Thank you.